Now tell me if I'm wrong, fellas, but don't you hate when you out with your boys and you know, you see a group of females and you see one that you like and you're like, dang, she look good. And you want to go talk to her, but then you see that she's with a group of females, maybe four, five, six, and you think to yourself, dang, I want to go talk to her. But, you know, with all those women around her, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a chance to even get a word in. Because you know how it is, how uncomfortable it'll be when you go over there and you try to talk to her. And all her girls seem to be putting up this blockade and this barrier like, uh-uh, who, who, who are you and where you come from? And you can't talk to her. If you ever been in that situation, then you, you kind of like myself. And the reason why I made this video is for those type of women who... At the end of the day, they might say to themselves, oh, I can't find a good man or I can't find nobody out here that, you know, I can start a relationship with. And there ain't no real men or whatever the case may be. But they continually go out with these groups uh, or contingents of women that don't allow men who actually are attracted in them to actually get a chance to to speak to them, actually, you know, see what's on their mind. So. This video here is for the women who don't position themselves to find love. What you got to do, women, is stop putting yourself in these large groups to make it hard on a man to actually dig or actually get through all these women to get to you, whom he really want to talk to, and actually start a conversation with him, or actually start a conversation with you, I'm sorry. So if you're the type of woman that you know you like to go out in groups or whatever, ain't nothing wrong with that, but if you're actually thinking that a guy's going to come over and talk to you nine out of ten times he will talk to you but he's waiting for you to separate yourself from the rest of the group so that he can speak to you one-on-one -on -one. because you know how uncomfortable it is when you're trying to actually talk to somebody and there's a whole bunch of people all in your mix or all in your circle list listening to every word you say listening and looking for the reactions that y'all giving one another and all of the above so for the women that don't position themselves, what you need to do is start putting yourself in places that's going to yield you the man that you want. You can't go out, go out to all these, you know, thug clubs or hood spots and expect to find real men or expect to find a man that has character and has uh, loyalty and, you know, all these, these things that you're looking for in a man. You, you're in a spot where none of that is existing and you're expecting that someone of that, that caliber is going to step to you and actually... Uh, want to speak to you and, and it's going to have the potential to be someone that you And think. another thing that you got to understand is that if you still have, you know, all these friends, all these past acquaintances and all these people that you still talking to, then you're never going to be able to have something real with the one person because you still have this excess baggage. So position yourself in the right way and you'll find what you're looking for. All right. Uh, so that, that's all I wanted to say just briefly. Just want to leave that with you. Please check out my videos. Please leave comments. Please check out my Facebook page, Mail Corner Views slash Relationship Clues. Uh, also, my Twitter is Clarence Brown 23. Instagram Downtown Clarence Brown. Uh, also, if you want to subscribe, then please do. I encourage you to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Clarence Brown Facebook, uh, Clarence Brown YouTube page. So again, that's my time signing out. Mail Corner Views. Thanks for your time. Peace. Yeah, partially functional.